Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. Let's get started. Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Seven years ago, I created this vase as part of a set of three to match my home decor at the time. It's hard to believe it's been that long. I don't like the clutter and I don't like waste. And seeing as it's been stored away and unused, I've decided to upcycle it. But before I do anything, I have to clean it. That's much better. Now that it's all clean, it's time to give it a fresh coat of white paint. However, I will spray the inside, which I will explain later in the video. While that's drying, I'm going to trace parts of the image onto a piece of parchment paper using a graphite pencil. Once the vase was completely dry, I gently placed the image onto it and made sure that it remained in place as I pressed it down. You don't want it to smudge. However, you can draw your face directly onto the glass if you want. I didn't because it would have taken me forever and I haven't mastered proportions yet. Her poor face would have came out all jacked up. <laughs> Trust me, it's quicker and it ensures that she doesn't come out with a lazy eye or one bigger than the other. And I still managed to make the eyebrows different. From here on out, it's easy peasy. All that's left is to color the face with glitter and add all the embellishments. And this is why I painted the vase on the inside. Do you see how easily the loose glitter is coming off of the vase? Well, that was not the case when I did it with the paint on the outside. So make sure to consider that when you use spray paint and glitter. It did not want to come off.
I went back and tweaked her face a little because homegirl was looking kind of mean. <laughs> but here it is, all done, and I love how it turned out. It's going to look super cute on my desk along with my other decor pieces. I still have a few more projects to finish before sharing my desk setup, but I hope my progress so far has inspired you. I wanted something cute and trendy and I think I nailed it. And although I'm happy with the final result, I can't help but feel like it's missing something. Should I switch the bling wrap to pearls? I was also considering adding silver glitter eyeshadow, but I'm not sure if it's too much. What do you guys think? I would love to hear your opinions. That's it for this week's video. I hope that it was helpful and that it inspired you to create something of your own, just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos.